Hi you guys, um, I had this idea a while ago to take a 38 degas Weber carb and make it a progressive carb, especially for these small 1400 buckies. I think it will be brilliant. Um, I'm going to try it, let's see how it works. So here we have a Fong Kong 3236 progressive carb and a 38 degas. So I looked at the two and when you hold them like that, all of that there on these two carbs are the same. That there is also the same. The only thing that's missing is that, is that little adjuster screw for your second choke, which is not a problem. And of course, that little pin that holds the spring for your clips, but that's not a problem. I can make a plan to put a pin there to hold the spring. So I think it'll work. So this is the shaft for the second choke out of that Hong Kong Weber carb and this is the one out of the degas and I measured it from there to the beginning of the butterfly and there to the beginning of the butterfly is the same distance and the total length is also the same distance so the only thing that's different is the end of the shaft here that one has obviously got the gear on so I'm going to put that in a lathe and I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to make it look like that one and, and I'm going to make it look not just look like that one but also exactly the same size and so that that flat is at the same angle as the butterfly because that's how it is on that one so uh, I'm going to do that quickly so I've cut the thread on the shaft and I've put the step in for the little link to go there um, same as that one There's the little seal, but it actually worked out brilliant. So I need to put a seal that side, seal in here. Once the flat's on, put the link in, put the washer on and the little nut. Got the thread on it, M5 thread. Um, I think it's gonna work. Right guys, just to show you what I've done, I didn't record it, but I want to show you what I've done. I had to put that flat on the shaft, um, the shaft that I've turned up on the lathe, so that it takes that little link that goes on the end to open the second choke. And all I did, I saw that it was perfectly parallel with the, with the butterfly. Um, and I, I put it like that in my vise, just held it by hand little square file and I simply just filed it, measured it, filed it, measured it, turned it around, did the same on the other side, whoops, did the same on the other side and I continued till it was exactly the same size as this one. See that one measures 5.29 and then I fitted uh, the little fitting. So that's all of the day to put that, that flat on. So I've put the shaft in the carb. There we go. It fits. Um, it sticks out over there like it should. I'm just going to put this on. With the little washer and the nut. I'm not going to tighten it and there it is that, that fits so the next thing to do this is from a 36 dga uh, dgv 32 36 just to put that on that's obviously going to be the idle adjuster screw this one looks like it was ground out so i'll just put a longer screw in there which is not a problem then you take that little spacer that goes in and that little spacer there so uh, let's make that spacer shorter but just to show you if I had to accelerate um, if this was in the vehicle it would now open the second barrel and there we have 38 degas that's now a progressive carb 
So the next challenge is the return spring. Obviously, the return spring sits on the other side. Um, over there actually, on the 38. And now we've removed all of that. So there's no return spring. This is the old Fong Kong carb. Um, and the, on the 32, 36, that's where the return spring sits. So I'll, I'll take this all apart and I'll use that spring to put over there. Obviously there's no notch on that one, so I'll have to make a little notch there. And I also notice the profile is different on the accelerator pump than the 38. So I'll have a think about that and see what I do with that. Um, but I'm going to silver solder a little notch on there quickly. And then take this shaft out, make sure the seals are good, clean it up a little bit, put it back with a spring, so we've got a return spring on it. This shaft I'm actually going to use in a different carb. I've got another 32-36 Weber, not a Hong Kong, where they've damaged the, the shaft, so I'll use this there. So I'll do that quickly. So right guys, this is where we are. I've had to drill a small hole there because um, obviously the 38 doesn't have a th return spring here, yeah? only the 32, 36 has so I had to drill a hole in there and I've put a little notch on there so the spring could hook it see there, so we'll sold a little wire on there so now it'll hook the spring to, to return it, I'm just going to see if it's not going to bother the accelerator pump but I think it'll be fine and um, on the other side I've obviously made that little spacer shorter, it's behind there now and I've put this on just to see how it'll work and so far so good obviously there's no return spring on there, on the 36 there's a pin that comes out of here and it's got a, it's got a space for the spring to hook on um, like this pin here so that carb doesn't have it, I must make something up for there, but I'm not stressed about it, I'll, I'll easily do that. Um, but there we are. 38 degas progressive carb. I think it'll work. Don't know what jetting to put into it. What I've done as well in the meantime, while I had the welding torch out, I've put a longer spring in there, but it wasn't long enough. For the idling so I've silver soldered a little wire on there to make that up and now we can adjust idling so that's fine next thing I think I must clean this up um, and then assemble it there's a couple of things that I have to do like this I must close up sorry that I must close up we're not gonna need it on the on the little 1400 pickup. Um, I must put emulsion tubes in. The spray pump, accelerator spray pump, I've got to put a 36, one on from a 36, make sure it sprays this side, not that side. Put accelerator pump on, close that up, up because we're not gonna, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna lose a bit of vacuum through there. And um, assemble it put it on the vehicle and see how it performs but I think it works fine obviously with the return spring there so for the return spring as you see on a normal 32 36 it's got that little pin there the 38 doesn't have it but there's a hole there so I took a M6 bolt like this put it in the lathe, turned it down, took all the thread off Gave it a bit of a, 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 a indentation over there. Took my M6 tap, tapped the hole a little bit, a little bit of Loctite, screwed it in there, and I now have a good working return spring. Closes the second choke properly, just like it would have on a on a normal 3236. I've got an adjuster there for the idling. You can see it opens the butterfly nicely. So I can adjust idling. Um, 
what you have to do because this is on the on the 38 you've got two idling mixture screws so in this one you must put a jet in screw it in all the way lock it in place and forget about it you can have to put a jet in there uh, uh, idle jet but that's fine and then what you also have to do is remember this is now your first joke so on the 38 you would have your accelerator pump which spray in both that's not going to work because if it does this butterfly only opens later on you're going to have a lot of fuel lying on top of it and it's going to have a massive flat spot so you must put a accelerator spray pump in that only sprays on your first choke obviously um, yes i suppose that concludes the modification to make a 38 d gas progressive carb so i'm quite happy um with how that build turned out um i don't know how it's going to perform i don't know what it's going to do um i don't quite know what jetting to put in on my door there I had a 38 on my little pickup before and, and if I remember correctly on my first on, 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 on the mains I ran 155 mains and 165 airs I wrote it on the back of the door there um, so I think I'll start there um, I would like to have the, the the first joke a little bit leaner so I might go 145 or 140 or something and maybe a little bit bigger on the airs and then the second choke, 155, 165, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to put it on today. <laughs> I'm going to see if it starts, see if it runs. Um, but I'll make a second video on that. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that here. Um, maybe there's other people that want to try this mod, put it on other vehicles, on a Volvo or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that here. Anyway, so I'll keep you posted.